If the Google Group has one feature that I think is remarkable, it's the willingness to change architecture. If you look at John Martinez's work, it went from face qubits, those were researched for some years, it was decided that was not going to work, went to transmods. Fixed frequency coupling, decided that was not going to work, tunable coupling. And they're very willing to go back to the fundamental architecture, the substrate, all sorts of different things. Say, so, you know what, we think that's a dead end, let's change it substantially and try this new approach. So that was certainly true when the pivot was made from annealers to the surface code. It was felt the annealers were not going to work out, and so you pivot to your or next best idea of something that has a chance of working out. And if there is one lesson to learn that or the field in general, I think that's incredibly healthy and should be made easier for more groups to do. I think too many groups get stuck in a particular approach. They feel that that's why they're funded and they don't feel that they have the freedom to say, you know what, we have five, 10 years of expertise in this system. And our conclusion is it's not competitive with these systems. We should just take all of our expertise, clever people and set up a new lab and will be a better use of money. No one says that, but I think that should be something that is encouraged.